Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to set up your Moblige app. I'm using an iPhone 7 and an Apple Watch 5. I'm going to tap on my App Store. I'm going to search for Moblish, M-O-B-E-L-E-A-S-H. Here it is. I found it. Um, I've bought it before, so I won't have to pay for it again. I'm downloading it now. It says open. I'm going to tap that. The app says get started now. It's now asking me for user permission, so I'm allowing it to use my Bluetooth. I'm allowing it to send me notifications, and it's checked uh, location. Mobleash is now ready for use. It's got a connection tip that you should read, and Mobleash is now ready to go. Let's look on the Apple Watch. And there's Mobleash. It's blue. It's just completing the connection to the to the iPhone. If we touch it, it's asking me if you'd like to send you notifications on the watch side. I'm allowing that. It's searching for a signal and it says iPhone close by, which it is. If I go back to my iPhone screen, I can see that Mobleash is there. You should leave Mobleash on in the background. And you can see this is the Mobleash app. You can turn off notifications from the screen. If you touch this menu, you can see that Mobleash is using your location, Bluetooth, and notification. If one of those is not ticked, the app will not work. There's also a travel setting, which will keep your iPhone even closer to you while you're traveling in airports, etc. So you don't leave it on an airplane or a taxi. And you can go back to default anytime. And if you go back to your main screen on your watch, you can see that there's the uh, Mobleash complication which will turn amber and then red if you walk away from your iPhone. Thank you.